Hey artists, welcome back to Art at Home. I'm really excited about today because I'm gonna be talking about something that I'm really passionate about. This shelf behind me, it's all full of comic books, graphic novels. Since I was a kid, this is one of my favorite things to read. There are just so many different things that you can do with a graphic novel that you might not be able to do with a regular novel or with a picture book or even with movies or TV shows are so interesting to me. And here's the thing. Times have gotten interesting recently. And I feel like we've all got a story to tell because what we're doing day to day right now, it probably doesn't look like what you were doing day to day a month and a half ago. So with that in mind, I was thinking about how some of my favorite graphic novels ever, they were memoirs, they were people's personal stories that they were sharing in comic book form. So I think we should start journaling our day-to-day -day lives in comic book form. Let's do it. Pine Hill. So in the template section of the website up there, you will find a link that says comic book pages and I have made a bunch of different blank templates for different styles of comic book page that you can print out and use whatever you like and whatever works for telling your story. So since life is so different now compared to how it was a few weeks ago, I would like to keep um, a comic style journal of what the day-to-day -day life looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead, you might do it every day, you might do it once a week, you might pick just certain interesting things that happen that you want to document, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pick yesterday, which was April 7th, 2020. And I'm just gonna make a one page little comic about that day. So one of the things that's really cool about comics is how it mixes writing with visual storytelling, with pictures. And I find that really fun. So usually if you're just writing something that happened and it's not somebody talking, in a comic you're going to put that in a little box. Something like that. Beth went to work at the hospital. So later I'm going to fill in a picture about that. Actually I think I'll add. So it was just me and the kids. I like to kind of write out what I'm going to do first. You might go the other way and sketch in pictures and then think of what your words are that you want to say. But this is just how I like to do it. It gives me my ideas of what's going to go in the boxes. There was Kira. And James. And Miss Jarbo's class. And I was so tired. Now that I've planned out my big ideas, and again, you might draw first, it's up to you, but I'm gonna go ahead and start sketching in my pictures.
I've decided that in my comic, the berries are going to be berries. So I'm gonna draw us like bears. It's kind of inspired by what Cece Bell did in El Defo, where she is a bunny. I'm gonna put in what's called a word balloon. And that's where anyone talks in a comic. You have this little flag or arrow that's pointed towards the person talking. And you put their words in this big oval. That's what Kira says whenever one of her parents goes to work, she says, drive careful. So right now I just sketch in loosely and then I finish it later. Once I've sketched in my big ideas, I'll go through and just improve on my drawings as much as I can, as much as you like. It's kind of your journal, so it's really up to you. here by putting in a word balloon behind James. That's like a continuation of, Dad, can I watch Dinosaur Train? Because I hear that question all day, every day.
my journal for uh, April 7, 2020 of what life was like for me during this oh so interesting time. I might make a little couple of comments here like all in pajamas. And then want to squeeze in on this page here where I'm talking to Miss Jarbo's class. So that was one day of my life. You know, spent about 20 minutes, half an hour working on this. But I think if I have a collection of these in a month, it could be really cool to look back on later. All right, guys, I hope you start doing some comics journaling. Remember, you can get these blank comic pages. I got a bunch of different varieties um, on the website in templates and more. And share these to me for the gallery. Share these to Mr. Randa because I think these would be great in the Pine Hill Press. All right, guys, have fun making comics. I had a blast. Beth went to work at the hospital. Bye, Mom. Drive careful. So it was just me and the kids. There was Kira. Dad, can I watch Dinosaur Train? And James. Wah! And Miss Jarbo's class. Hi, Mr. Barry. And I was so tired.